हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand convolution property of continuous time Fourier transform. First, let us understand this statement. It states that if x one of t, for this, if we perform Fourier transform, will obtain x one of j omega, and for x two of t, if we perform Fourier transform, will obtain x two of j omega, then y of t is equal to x1 of t convoluted with x2 of t for this if we perform fourier transform we should obtain y of j omega which is equal to x1 of j omega into x2 of j omega so here convolution in time domain will be multiplication in frequency domain so this is the convolution property of continuous time fourier transform now let us see the proof from fourier transform we can write y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity y of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now in place of y of t we need to substitute x1 of t convoluted with x2 of t so we can write the above equation as y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x1 of t convoluted with x2 of t into exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt using the property of convolution we can write y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity so in place of this convolution we can write the standard formula of convolution as integration of minus infinity to infinity x of tau into x2 of t minus tau d tau into exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now let us rearrange the above equation and we can write integration of minus infinity to infinity first let us write the term x1 of tau into integration of minus infinity to infinity x2 of t minus tau exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt into d tau now let us take alpha is equal to t minus tau then we can write t is equal to alpha plus tau and we can write dt is equal to d alpha therefore we can write above equation as y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau integration of minus infinity to infinity x2 of in place of t minus tau let us write alpha exponential to the power of minus j omega in place of t let us write alpha plus tau d alpha into d tau so we can write the equation as y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau into integration of minus infinity to infinity x2 of alpha so this exponential term we can write it as exponential to the power of minus j omega alpha into exponential to the power of minus j omega tau d alpha d tau now let us rearrange the terms of above equation we will get y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau so along with this let us multiply this exponential term and d tau value so we can write exponential to the power of minus j omega tau d tau into integration of minus infinity to infinity x2 of alpha exponential to the power of minus j omega alpha d alpha now for this term we can write it as x1 of j omega into and this term 
we can write it as x2 of j omega so which is nothing but y of j omega so this is the proof hope you have understood this topic thank you